going on guys? Welcome back to Denver Beer and Oil. Today is a day I'm pretty excited about. As you know, this car right here was dead. We got a new engine in it. I've been uh, buying parts like crazy. So today, we're gonna put some parts on. It's, I guess, E36 M3 overkill week. But, pretty stoked. So today what we got is a set of Porsche 996 calipers. So we're gonna put these on. I actually haven't opened any of this stuff yet, so I'm gonna unbox it with you. These should, I think, be the rally road adapters for it. We are also going to be developing a kit for F80 M3 brakes with Angry S Solutions. So that'll be cool. But in the meantime, until that kit gets developed, oh yeah, these pretty little Bettys. So these are, this is the rally road kit. Um, and it allows you to fit these brakes in conjunction with E46 M3 CSL rotors. So, ooh, it's still in the plastic. It's so fancy. This car does not deserve these parts. This car does not. It does. I'm gonna say it does. Why not? I mean, it's fair. <laughs> oh man, those are some beefy boys. Jeez. So, lots of venting, lots of slotting, lots of surface area. Um, the only crappy thing about running these brakes is that I have to run 18 inch wheels, but I guess that's not a big deal. Uh, the M3 comes stock with 17 inch wheels and I have a couple sets of 18s laying around. So it should be no so big it deal. It should be no big deal. Yeah, yeah. So I think we're gonna run the, uh, the Bayerns on there. I've got a set of 18 inch uh, like multi-spoke BBS looking uh, Bayern wheels. So I think we're gonna run those. Also got some brake lines to go with it. Coming up soon, we're gonna be doing the boosted E36 M3 build off series. So I want to make sure this car can stop before I start putting a bunch of power to it. So that was where all this stuff is. So I built an S54 swap D30 a while back and uh, the car was terrifyingly fast and still had stock brakes and no brake booster. So it also was terrifyingly slow at stopping and it was an extremely dangerous vehicle. So against my normal MO, I'm gonna go ahead and do the brakes on this car first to avoid that happening again. I almost crashed that car probably like a hundred times just purely because I couldn't stop. See, who was in the car with me? I think Thomas was in the car with me. So Thomas Beard, yeah, I'm sure you remember that, almost dying with me in the S54 E30. All right, let's see what this big hunk of junk is. So satisfying opening boxes full of Christmas presents for myself. Oh yeah. So I love the E36 M3 front bumper, but I don't think it's quite low enough. So I got this, this little Betty to go on there. Hopefully it fits. This is just a cheap eBay piece of crap. I don't like to buy expensive lips because they're the first thing that gets destroyed. So hopefully this Duraflex or rubber or urethane thing, whatever it is, doesn't break. But it's basically just a bigger version of the stock one. Puts it a little lower. Just makes it look a little stamped stancier. Um, I don't really want to lower the suspension on this car. Even when I do put coilovers on it, I think they're going to be pretty close to stock height just because this is going to be a daily and I'm not a stance boy like Diego. Um, so anyway, got that. That's exciting. And if you remember last episode on this car, the headlights on this thing are genuinely falling out. As a matter of fact, you can even see it. Look, the lenses are like falling off. Got Dude, it's it's a mod. Yeah, heck yeah, it's the uh, latest cross eye mod. It's the latest in stance. Call it the bubbles mod. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Trailer fork boys. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so I got tired of looking at my cross eyed purple people eater. So I bought some stuff. Let's see what's in here. This seems like over. got there. Jesus. Oh, Y'all can hate if you want. This is all eBay stuff pretty clearly, except for the Rally Road and Porsche stuff. But you know what? E36s are slam pigs, so I don't think they really need really fancy, nice parts. Besides, mine isn't that nice. Should be some corners, maybe? Oh, yeah. New parts. The best. Yeah, so we got the, uh, the smoked corners. I already have clear corners on this thing, but I think the, the darker ones look better and they came as a package, so I figured why not. And then if I ever break the tabs, because these things like to break off right here on E36s, if I ever break those, I got a backup set. So I got the, uh, the glass ones, so I guess they're not too bad. They're depots, but they're the glass ones, so I guess they're not too terrible. I always forget how big headlights are, because they like look small on a car. 
yeah, then, when you put them in a box, it's like huge. Yeah. Fresh set of freshies. Look at that. Oh, jeez. Look at that. And glass. You're going to be able to see in the dark with those. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm excited, actually. Are they xenons? Yeah. Actually, it might even be HIDs. If they are HIDs, I have all the the junk for that. This car came with crappy HIDs on it, and I'm gonna put more crappy HIDs on it. <laughs> HID stands but for whatever. Hot Boy. Hot Boy Intensity Device. Yep. Oh, don't wanna break my headlights. All right. It'd be a bad Christmas. Well, the other one's the other one's the same, I'm sure. Yeah. You know, but opposite side, so take that sucker out. There you go, little car. Christmas for you. Sweet. Uh, and you'll notice it has grills as well. Yeah, you cannibalize those. Stole some grills off of that car that you may or may not see me pull the engine out of. I don't know whether we're gonna post that video, but I have a spare S52 now sitting right there. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be putting that in the E30 M3 because the one that's currently in there is pretty tired. So I'm gonna put a fresh motor in it and have a little bit more fun with it before we do the N54 swap. But anyway, back to this E36. We've got some brake stuff to do. Full disclosure, I didn't actually know whether I bought the, the E46 Sim 3 CSL rotors or the, I can't remember, there's one other option for rotors you can buy. One of them allows you to run 17s, one does not, and I can't remember. So, I guess we'll find out. I'm actually pretty stoked to get these on because these rotors are warped. Dang. Also, if anybody needs a set of E36 M3 brakes, I have a set. These are coming off. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I mean, it should be pretty straightforward. I'm just installing brakes, but the uh, rally road guys didn't send any kind of special instructions, so I'm assuming I just use the stock bolt to put the new brackets on and then slide the old Porsche boys on there and bolt her down. We've got another car that has them installed, so if I'm too dumb to do this, I can just go look at that. That's handy. Yep. The, uh, the, drift, the drift car. E36 that you guys have seen doing lots and lots and lots of burnouts. The one that Rudnick broke. Or we know, he broke the E63. Yeah. Uh, the E36 that he really liked, that one's got the Porsche front brakes on it. Exact same setup I'm about to use. Nice. So we know it works. Yep. The uh, the rally road kit's supposed to be pretty cool. So. And then we're gonna do headlight things, corner things. Headlights, chins. I've also got a... Uh, uh, I have a dual shear selector rod set up and like a full shift rebuild. I guess we can do a DIY video on that if you guys are interested, so let me know in the comments. But um, the stupid USPS decided that this wasn't a valid address, even though everybody else seemed to have no problem delivering it here. So uh, it got sent back to California, and now I gotta wait for the dude in California to relabel it and send it out again. So that's kind of lame, but yep. my shifter wasn't that bad. I just, I like, I like a nice crisp, crisp shifter feel so here's stock e36 m3 there's e46 csl good bit bigger probably about a 20 percent increase in surface area there so it looks like the clamping area is actually about the same but the nice thing about these is how much thicker they are and also that the diameter is larger so they stay cooler for longer you can get more aggressive with your braking and not boil your brake fluid it doesn't produce as much heat because there's more surface area to dissipate it so science so there's doesn't seem to be sides on these so i guess i'm just going to assume that they're ambidextrous so to speak i guess they just go like that and then those little beddies go right through there Woo. We're gonna be hot boy as fuck today. Dude, it's like 100 today. Yeah, literally. I meant hot boy as in like real life hot. Yeah. It's fucking hot. It's fucking hot, dude. Is this really this easy? It's really hot. So what are you doing? Are you putting it through the pre-existing? Yeah, it's literally just an adapter bracket that is super mint and easy as fuck to install. Wow. I just have to do that one more time and I'm done, apparently. Loctite or no? Yeah, uh, I'm gonna Loctite it for sure. Typically yeah. you don't, but on these, since it's an aluminum bracket, and then I've got plenty of clearance from that bolt, so we're good. So, we got the, well here, we got the completed brakes on this side. It's completed minus pads, and you can't run this, but um, I've got some wheel studs I'm gonna put in there here in a minute. 
but the brakes, I mean, they're on and they're kind of lead. I let them gravity bleed and they were puking everywhere. So they might be okay. That's good um, enough. But yeah, so passenger side's down. Driver's side has a freaking broken lug stuck in it. So I tried welding a bunch of stuff to it and backing it out, but it is just not having it. So I think I'm gonna have to switch the whole knuckle out. I could just buy another drive flange or wheel flange, whatever, but then I gotta switch the wheel bearing, blah, blah, blah. We have other E36 and three calipers or uh, knuckles laying around. So I'll just steal one off another car, and swap it onto this one real quick. But we'll do that a little later. For now, I'm gonna finish these brakes. Hook up the lines, bleed them, throw the pads on them, and the brakes will be done, and then we can get to other fun stuff. You got the stainless steel boys on too? Yeah, we got the braided boys. We're gonna put some braided boys on the back too. Also, if you guys are doing hydraulic fittings, this stuff is the tits. Let's see that. Loctite, 545, thread sealant. Sealant. Sealant, this is not, this is not to keep your stuff from backing out. Oh, shit. This stuff is purely for sealing threads. Yeah, it definitely doing lippy again. things. It did that again. So he's got to put a lot in. We're doing a Kim Kardashian mod to the, uh, what was it, who, who got the lip things? I guess they all did, right? I have no idea what Will's talking about. Do you guys? No. Yeah, dude. Kim Kardashian and Chloe. Oh, they got the lip kits. The You're lip. just standing on my lip, bro. Dude, Will. Okay. Kylie, dude. So oh, yeah. This, Kylie. That's this the is, one. This is where it's at. Dude. Oh, dual lip. Lips on lips. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> that's sick, man. I don't know if I like it or hate it. The new lip? It might have been a waste of money, but whatever. <laughs> good. No. I think it would have been a good replacement if you didn't have a lip. True. I like it. Are you kidding? We'll see. Here, let's put it down. I think this looks good. But like, oh, that does look bad. I like that. Yeah. Why is this side so far out? Because it's eBay, bro. No, it's like it didn't, you didn't screw it in. I don't know. I need to go get more self tappers, clearly. Don't know, man. If you guys know what that gray lead is from Depot Aftermarket. I'm sure there's probably instructions, but I'm not gonna look at them. And as long as the headlights both turn on, I don't care. Okay, so Will got one of the headlights almost in, and it is a kind night and day difference. I mean, dude, they look so good. As always, E36s suck, and the clips on this thing were broken right out of the box. So that's awesome. Dude, I'm telling you, I love you 36s but they suck. Everything breaks. Everything that's not important, the only thing that doesn't break is the drivetrain. It's like reliability stuff. Yeah. So people are like, oh yeah, they're reliable. If you just don't mind having any creature comforts. Yeah, as long as you don't want your windows to roll up, your headlights to work, your corner lights to stay in, your door panels to stay on, your headliner to stay at the top of the roof, your trunk not to break. Other than that, they're great vehicles. But those brakes also look super sick. I mean, these are some big boys. Are you gonna do larger rear rotors as well? Um, not sure. I'm gonna see how the bias feels before I go doing any more modifications to the brake system. figure that noise out before we go take this thing 100 miles an hour or you know legal speed, speeds. speed limit yeah uh, but yeah it's making a gnarly noise from the front left so we're gonna go figure that out and then we'll go test the brakes hells yeah but let's see what my initial impression is just in a parking lot doesn't seem any different really that's because BMW brakes are so finely engineered. Uh, you could also need more bleeding. Yeah, so what did we get done today? Oh, man. So I've been wrenching on this thing all freaking day. We didn't show as much as we probably should have, but the front end, for example, looks so much better. 
Got the fog lights on. I got this goofy little eBay lip thing on. That is pretty much exactly what I was going for. A little bit more aggressive, but still pretty much stock looking. I uh, got the new corners on. Got the new headlights in. Got the grills on. Fix some vacuum leaks. Switch the wheels out. We got the big brakes on. Uh, what else? Oh. Ignore the uh, dirty wheels. <laughs> they came straight um, out of uh, Drift Colorado. Yeah, right. No, that's pretty much true. Um, let's see what else. Oh yeah, got stereo working. I haven't had a working stereo in a daily driver for like a long time. I think you said 10 years. Yeah, a long time. Yeah. yeah. It's been a long time. So I have like subs and like amplifiers and speakers. I have Just two amplifiers. Wacky shit, man. It's wild. But yeah, I mean, she's looking pretty freaking good. I'm excited, man. This is, I think, the cleanest M3 now that you've ever had. Oh, for sure. Since I've known you, at least. For sure. Yeah. I've had a lot of M3s, but this one is, I would say, leaps and bounds the nicest. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. The only well, There's only a couple things left to do. I need to get the AC working. I was hoping it would work today. We, <clears throat> that's another thing I did. I put the belt on it, bolted the compressor up and everything. I thought the system was charged, but I don't think it is. So I may have somebody do that. I can do HVAC stuff, but quite frankly, I hate it and I would rather pay somebody to do it. So uh, I may get somebody to do that. And then, I don't know, maybe, what do you guys think? Should I put a uh, some sort of a wing on it? Or do you guys like the clean look? Oh, a wing might be pretty bad, like in a good way. Good bad. I'm thinking if it's a wing, I don't want to do the like the stock M3 wing. I would want to do just like a small ducktail. Something subtle. That would be a nice accent. Subtle just to even it out. Yeah. But it looks so freaking good right now. I'm pretty happy with it. Look at this man in his car. <laughs> well, I have a lot of cars and normally they're all in various states of disrepair and not like comfortable to drive. But now I have one that has like, oh wait, I need to do cruise control. I could have done that today, but I didn't. Cruise control should work. Add that to the list. I literally just have to plug it in and hook it up. But, Sweet. Um, yeah. Cruise control and AC, and this thing will be mint. It's got a new engine, big brakes, vaders, wheels, headlights and things. It's just a cool car. I'm just excited. Yeah, it is. Chris thinks he's got a better car. Lol. That's all I have to say to that. Chris. I mean, look at it over there. Look at Yellow. This. Let's go over here. Let's, let's, let's examine the things. Our competition isn't here, so let's talk shit about it. Faded. Chipping. Very dirty. Zero interior. I feel like that alone makes me win. He doesn't even have a passenger seat. I mean, this car is without a question faster than mine right now. Right now. But you can't even drive it. See, like, what are you supposed to do with this thing? Well, and you can if drive. If you are it. driving it, good luck. Like looking around. It's, this is a race car. This isn't a daily driver. If we're going for car for car, you know what? We can put this to rest real easy. YouTube, tell us in the comments which car you think is a better car. Which M3 you would rather have. Okay, and also, yours doesn't have this carbon fiber. It barely shows up, but that is a pretty cool feature. I mean, there's no reason I can't do it. True, but you'd lose the sunroof. It doesn't work anyway. Oh. <laughs> so, well, then. I'm lost there. Yeah. I don't know why it doesn't work. Quite frankly, I don't care. I don't like sunroofs. I'd rather have the carbon delete kit. Fair enough. So I may copy Chris and do that. Because I'd rather have a slick top no matter what. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking close up the shop so that way we can make a quick getaway. And then burnouts. Do some sick bannies. I say do some sick bannies. All right. So let's close up the shop. Oh, yeah. Let's and then do it. Uh, let's get it to it. Let's test out the new big brakes. See if it doesn't go anywhere. There's only one way I know to do that. Let's check out the burnability on this girl. Try that again. Yeah, so the fluid we got, we actually never put in because they started feeling better. But, uh. Yeah, but it, I think it's still got some air in it. So we're definitely gonna have to bleed him. But let's go for one more. Robin? Yeah, sound bumps. 
Yeah, we got a little bit more bleeding to do for sure. I got to mash it pretty hard and then the back brakes kick in. It should be able just to like barely hold it and just sit there. So what I've got some more bleeding to do, but okay. I'm, I'm very happy with it. I'll be even happier once the brakes are bled and I've got cruise control and AC, but dude, I am stoked. This is turning into a nice car and it's exciting. So as always guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your support. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Let us know which car is better. And uh, next time we'll probably have some more donuts. Maybe we'll have dueling donuts. Oh, tandem. Tandem donuts. And these are both getting boost very soon. So get ready for that.